Personally, I don't think they've done a lot because if you look at the figures right across Europe, there are 80 million people in Europe who are experiencing poverty. Those figures are not coming down and we all know that those figures are going to go up. They will have to participate more with people who are experiencing poverty and they will have to participate with the European anti-poverty networks to get this problem solved because it's going to get worse and worse. While I was at the meeting in Brussels, I heard so many people from around Europe speak of the same problems we are experiencing here. Single parents, whether you're living in Ireland or Europe, if you're dependent on welfare, our, our problems are still the same. There are still too many children living in poverty. The benefit of living within an EU member state is that we get the opportunity to come together at these meetings and have our voices heard. I don't feel like that the EU has, has benefited Ireland for the disabled in any way whatsoever. I think it's brought all the, the people, it's brought a lot of the people experiencing poverty and the people that can do something about it, the decision makers, it's brought the issues out on the table for everybody to see and to participate in. It probably has lifted quite a number of women out of the poverty trap in that it has, it has given people, given women, equal rights before the law which was very important because it had to be written into law and women were very badly treated in, in, in Ireland for one with the marriage bar which was removed because of EU legislation. The EU should provide a very high standard of health care. I think that Whatever hospital in Europe is of high standard, then all the hospitals in Europe should go up to that standard. I'm in hospital at the moment, and because I have no money to pay my own nurse at home, I am living in a hospital. I would hope that people who are experiencing poverty across all of Europe are given the opportunity to have a real input into the decisions that are being made about them. I would hope that there be more, would be more public awareness and support for people who experience not only poverty but social exclusion that comes with it and that these people would lobby their local representatives or politicians to overcome these problems. I hope that it's not going to just be a talking place where everybody signs up to everything and agrees to everything and implements nothing. I hope it's going to be effective. My vision is that in 2019 the EU will announce that 2020 will be a celebration of an EU free of poverty. I've got to hope, if we lose hope there's nothing left. By 2020, as we are all EU citizens, I would hope that each citizen will be in a position to take full part in all human life, that poverty should not be a barrier to anybody.